Yeah, sorry about that. My papers got away from me. But, um, yeah, I already knew how this was going to end before it got started. Um, and it comes down to, like, um, you know, uh, like, like I said, you know, traitor's a traitor. They got to go. Um, I, you know, hopefully with Robert Hansen dead, a lot of people can um, put things back into proper perspective, you know. Um, because, you know, there, there's, yeah, it just gets ugly. But anyways, here's line 251. The mate at the end an old enemy had been. Katana did, Katanya did settle the score. One bump on the nose and oops, there she goes. Now who's going to clean up the floor? Fred liked his liquor, not good for his ticker. His undoing was he told it would be. To dread who was smart, he was an old fart, not farmer material be he. Irked Fred this did, after all, but a kid, for what did he know about me? It's easy to judge and maintain a grudge when going on what ones I see. I may not be smart, but I view with my heart. I see things that many would miss. Wise man or fool, but rarely a tool, for all I have but this one wish. For life demands all kinds, with all sorts of minds, the destiny of one for that one to choose. Work hard and you'll see that anything can be, where freedom reigns, one cannot lose. Fred finished his drink, the crowd stopped to think. No query, no pardon, no why. He meant what he said, his heart drove his head, he was truly one likable guy. Thought Catania, who knew how few men were true. They cheated, cavorted, and cried. Besotten with mire, befuddling desire, indeed, how often they lied. Bearing her breast, she rose to the test. We best put these goblins to rest. Her fists in his hand, alone did she stand, ignored not he, her throat or her chest. I, lass, you'll do, but we are but two. I trust that I meet your approval. If you're courting my praise, you'll heighten that gaze, for I abdicate considering your scruples. Fine, fair enough, your challenge was tough. My hand in my gaze I rescind. Hail and well met, you are sprightly, I'll bet, my nose, the incumbent to mend. Thus uttered Fred, abrading his head, fond to be found unremissive, as she reburdened her trust with nary a fuss, a bluster and coyly premissive. What misgivings had she but no longer be, her best in his hand did he nestle, her jab, quick, contrary, and deed did he parry, impacting like mortar to pestle, feigning a whimper amidst raffish simper, alluding to friends from about, but two we are not, as well you have got, five for fell goblins to rout. The rise burnt away, dewy mists in a haze. The dampness was felt in many a knee. At dawn they embarked with supplies they earmarked for their journey. Two weeks would it be. Past Triangle Inn, where Izzard had been. No doubt out there looking for Jenna. Sniffing the breeze for dirty wench knees. Magaljoop, rye, lilac, and henna. Saul was aware that goblins were there. He paused as the five headed west. He hoped they had weapons and adequate protection, for should they be put to the test. A vague afterthought, what armor they brought. Five foals on their way to the grave. Thought Saul as he loosed the morning refuse. Three brigands, one unsightly knave. What feather and cap, with friends he fell flat, a top spike and his minuscule crossbow. With service a smile, all heaped in a pile. All thusly such trash all must go. Past Y in the road to Green River Ford, or Dead River Ford since the fall, skirting Drachmar, the rocky sandbar, for toll there must be paid by all. A turn to the left, Black River heading west, south of the northern rim forest, or Zin Ephrathel, where Ordoeth dwell, in emerald glades of arboreousness. All morning they walked and listened and talked, giant beetle was all to be found. Be that a warning that after this morning, less easy it be where we're bound. Across the flood plain where two rivers drain, they marched nearly all afternoon, in unison, in line, in arrhythmic time, upon feet that grew weary too soon. The eagle was keen and longed to take wing, to Claudia he always returned. They were not to lack for food he brought back, his pay and his keep did he earn. With night beasts at bay the rabbits would play, chasing about in the brush. A feast not to flatter, approach they would scatter, to stand very still in a hush. Viper was there, and could he catch hair? The rations had yet to be touched. Of wolves he was sired, his coat was admired, just not by those born in a hutch. Yeah, that uh, pretty much introduces the rodent warren. Um, but like I said, the whole concept of the rodent warren is under copyright until 99 years after my death. 
so you can kind of skirt the whole rabbit hole um, Mad Hatter's Tea Party thing. You know, and the whole assassination threat, you know, of a Marxist origin that was directed against the British royal family back during the Victorian era. Um, you know, that's something that needs to be said. Um, there's something else I wanted to say here, too. Um, like I said, well, it goes back to, uh, like, William Donovan and stuff like that, and where, like, the old OSS and, like, the follow-on CIA fit with, like, um, you know, issues, like, with international human trafficking and stuff. And a lot of this has to do with... Um, you know, the kind of people who took power after, you know, the Nazi regime collapsed, you know, and, um, you know, it, it was kind of a bad thing because there were a lot of ties there. Now, you saw it come into play with the anti-fascists and stuff like that. Basically, you had a latch-ditch uh, effort there to uh, overthrow the government in America and, and you know, uh, basically facilitate a revolution. But the other thing going on there, it's it comes down to what happened to war orphans. And, and like like I said, this is where, like, um, you know, Uncle Willie becomes a character in the book. You know, like, eternally, eternal unrest because of some of the things that happened. You know, which, um, well, like, like I said, we're, we're talking some disturbing things. Like what happened to a lot of the war orphans, like, that were either forced into prostitution or other things. You know, and the kind of psychos that are, um, you know... I mean, you know, there's people who are psychotic to begin with, but what war does to people, too, is actually even worse. So j just saying, this is where the whole CIA trend, you know, in regards to human trafficking and stuff like that comes into play. And, um, you know, but like, like I said, it's just something that goes on. I mean, it's, um, you know, keeping an eye open and an ear open for that kind of stuff. And, um you know, that's, that's kind of like a tradition that goes back to the OSS. I mean, it may or may not be unspoken, but it's something that's there. And, um, you know, well, like I said, William Donovan was a good man. Um, that's about all I can say. But there's, you know, there's a lot of people who have issues like that. But, um, you know, just saying that's, um, you know, that's part of the, you know, well, that's where the character Uncle Willie comes from in the story, you know, because... Um, when you're part of his extended family, you know what I'm saying? Not his real blood family, but, you know, like I said, if you know what I'm talking about there, you know, when you're part of that family, you know, that's, you know, we all look out for each other, you know. And, um, well, like, like I said, I'm going to stop right there. I'll pick it up uh, next month with line 301. Uh, it gets better, you know, but like I said, the whole thing is a satire, though, about America's worst spy and traitor. And just where he fit in everything that he compromised. And, and like I said, um, you know, I know the person I dedicated this to is not the only person that he compromised, but uh, she was the person that I knew. And it comes down to, um, you know, just, well, like I said, it comes down to, you know, people like that having their careers wrecked before they even started, you know, and trying to stay ahead of the, the bad guys. If, man, and a whole bunch of stuff that I really can't talk about. But, um, you know, it's pretty much been the sole focus of my life for most of it. You know, and uh, taking that guy out. Um, well, it's like I said, we're still cleaning up the mess. That's about all I can say. Um, you know. Yeah.